Going to the ice crappers, Tom from the Ice Crap app. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021, and we hope that you are doing well, staying busy, scrapping often. Of course, we like to do our live weekly report Wednesdays, 1 p.m. Eastern. So if you're watching us live and you have questions, by all means, please comment below. We'll try to get to those questions during our feed. If we don't get to them, please don't be sad. Either another scrapper will get to them or we'll get to your question later on in the day. Now, over the last week, we've seen so many different pieces of information pouring in through our Facebook groups, our news feeds, our YouTube channel. So we wanna be able to hear from you. Right off the bat, we have our Patreon supporters growing week after week. And one of the newest things that we've been pushing out there is one-on-one -on -one scrap metal coaching. Think about it. Many of you that are in the scrap metal industry, watching these podcasts, watch, or videos, listening to podcasts, and going over all things YouTube-related, how else are you going to learn this stuff? But if you've developed yourself into a little bit of a business, a scrap business, and you're looking for some coaching tips, become a Patreon supporter, where every month we could offer you a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, as well as dozens of other tips that we send out every single week, month. So without further ado, let's start talking about what else? Scrap. Over the last week, we've seen copper prices maintain a very strong level. One of the things that we talked about in our weekly report that we typed up earlier was how a nice solid range is really, really important. And that's what we've had really over the last two to three weeks. With the market staying in the $4.02 to $4.15 range overall, that $0.13 cent range has really been working out nicely. Yes, it's frustrating for things to go up and down, but I'll take the same $0.13 cents changing hands opposed to three days in a row of $0.13 cent price drops followed by two days of increases. Those are the unsteady natures of the business that we don't like and seeing a nice steady message right now coming from the traders and the different commodity things that we're reading about is a very positive sign. Now, talking about copper, which is really what most people want to talk about, what we see going into the rest of this year is a lot of what we're seeing today. $4 to $5 per pound copper. Now, let's just put that little asterisk on it. Don't forget, you do not see $4 per pound at the scrapyard until their prices start to climb in the 450, 460, 470 range because they need to have margins there, processing, profit, etc. Looks like we already have a question. Uh, we do. Michael actually jumped the gun on you for steel, but he asked, what's the average price on prepared plate and structural in Ohio? Oh, I have no idea, Michael. I mean, it, to, to get that specific is going to be really tough. And overall national average right now is in the 220 to 230 range. We have seen some really aggressive prices coming in. We saw one price earlier today at $310 per ton for number one prepared. So there are some nice numbers out there, but after we saw about a 30 cent price, uh, excuse me, $30 per ton price drop over the last two and a half weeks with another $10 coming later this week, early next week. Don't be surprised to see your markets down overall, 40 or $50 per ton, but it looks to be leveling out going into April and that's good news. So before you sit here and complain, because that's what everyone is really good at, we, we tend to complain more about problems that we have than focus on positive things that we have going. That's probably why the country is in such a storm that it's in right now. But I like to focus on the positive, and the positive shows that steel prices are up about $50 per ton this year overall, if you include that little December rush, so I guess I'm not completely truthful there. So December to now, we're still up $50 a ton. Light iron markets, 150 to 200 per ton overall. We've been seeing nice steady prices, even with some of the decreases we expect next week, some of those prices that are gonna be reported to go down to the 130 to 180, 170 per ton mark for the light iron. Overall, steel prices are good. A couple of different things that we've seen. We have seen demand roaring for steel, but we've seen overseas demand dropping, which caused some U.S. domestic steel mills not to be pursuing material as hard as they were. Now they're going to be looking for material and they're going to get it at a discounted rate because the overseas purchasers are a little lower. We have a couple more questions. Throw them my way. 
So we had a follow up from Joe. He's All right, in, Joe. in Ohio. All and right. Steel is at 11 cents a pound right now. So 11 cents per pound at a 2,240 ton weight. You're looking around 240, 250 for prepared. Thank you for sharing that. Nice to see two fellow Ohioans, I think that's what you are, talking to each other. And then one more uh, question from Robert. Yeah. Aluminum, going up anytime soon more. Again, if I had my crystal ball, and I promise it's in the shop being worked on right now, if I had that crystal ball, I would let you know if the aluminum prices are going up. I don't know, but here's my prediction. I believe that going into the second half of 2021, we are gonna see a roaring market that's gonna pick up more than it is right now. So aluminum prices, I definitely see increases of five to 10 cents per pound coming the second half of 2021, all depending on multiple things from where the tax bills could land up, the infrastructure packages, how the COVID vaccinations are gonna work and how the worldwide trading economy really opens its Itself back up. So hopefully that gives you a little better insight of where the markets are. The aluminum market is very difficult to judge right now, especially with the tariffs still in place. With those tariffs in place, which is not a bad thing, we're watching these markets and we're really trying to gauge where the future of aluminum is going, where it's going to be needed. And of course, we're going to sound like a broken record from now, probably until the day that we stop doing these videos, which is no time soon. Let me let that be known. No time soon are we stopping the aluminum and the electric vehicle, that EV market, I'm going to hammer those letters into your head, are going to be really, really key to look at, not only for lithium, but also for aluminum. Think about it. To get better gas mileage, whether you're making a gas-powered car or an electric-powered car, I know gas miles per gallon, just talk about miles per charge, miles per watt, however they end up measuring that, but to get increased length, you're going to need to have lighter vehicles, those vehicles are not only going to have to weigh less, they're going to have to be equally as safe as vehicles made out of steel. That's where we're going to start to see more aluminum grades being produced, manufactured, and created. Don't forget, they can create aluminum alloys. They can merge them with titanium and other types of metals to create strong alloys that protect us while we're driving. More questions? Throw them my way. We just have a follow-up from Robert. He Great. just mentioned that it's 30 pounds in Cincinnati, Ohio for aluminum. 30, 30 cents per pound for sheet is a, a very low price, Robert. We suggest that you use the iScrap app to find some scrap yards that are close to you that are paying slightly more because we know that a national average right now for sheet aluminum is upwards of 40 cents a pound. So you might want to explore not only the national prices that we have behind us to give you a better idea, but also you're going to want to find a new scrap yard to work with. Yes. We have a question from Todd. Todd, what's up? Do you see domestic and international demand for steel increasing by the end of the year? Yes, I do. I think that the international demand is going to increase, especially I hate to beat a broken record here, play a drum or whatever cliche you're supposed to use, right? But with the vaccinations going out there, more people's getting ready to move. I read an article this morning talking about air travel. Air travel tends to be one of the safest ways to move to not get COVID right now because the airlines have these HEPA filters built into their plane that are constantly cleaning the air. Why are airplanes important to steal? Great follow-up question. Let me answer that for you. The more that people are traveling, the more money that's going to be moving, not only domestically in the United States, but internationally, the more money that is moving, the more opportunities that are created, the more opportunities that are created, the more wear and tear on the system, the more wear and tear on the system, the more taxes from those opportunities, they start to build and rebuild different economies. You are going to see a really strong growth coming out of India over the next couple of years where their economy is, ten, is, is going to be similar to what China did back in the 90s and 2000s, really building their economies up. So we are going to see a strong demand coming out of India for steel. But I think one thing that a lot of international countries are waiting for and traders are waiting for is to see how the Biden administration is going to tackle so many domestic and international things that are going to affect all things scrap and steel related. Now, 
back to what we were talking about with copper a few minutes ago, until we start to see another 40 or 50 cent increase or add on on top of the current levels, which I do believe will happen this year as not only wind and solar and electric are going to pick up, we're going to see an, a potential economic boom if we don't have a hammering on taxes that we could have a massive demand on copper. There are multiple economists, multiple economists that are predicting $5 per pound copper trading trading by the end of this year. And if you tune in and you are a Patreon supporter, you'll see some of our five to 10 year outlooks that we talk about to let you know where copper prices could be going in the coming years based on multiple inflation guidelines, articles we're reading, overall demand and where the ore industry is going, that mining industry. You know, there's copper out there, but as things become more expensive, it's gonna become more expensive to extract it out of the ground, raising the price of scrap because you're gonna to wanna to be able to take already refined and available copper and push it into the markets. Talked about steel, talked about aluminum, hey, talked about copper. What do we have to talk about next? Well, ask me a question and I'll talk about it. But until then, let's talk about catalytic converters. Now the team at rrcats.com always is quoting your catalytic converters, whether you send serial numbers, pictures of the serial numbers, typed serial numbers, or pictures of the catalytic converters taken from overhead. The team at rrcats.com is looking to not only get you a free shipping label, get you paid quickly, and make sure you're all always getting paid for your catalytic converters within seven business days. As long as you ship, we hold those prices. Now the catalytic converter market has been a little difficult. In the coming weeks and months, we fully expect to see more unfortunate news articles being pushed out about how negative the catalytic converter market is right now. We're not talking about scrap, but we're talking about theft because it's the elephant in the room that we can't just ignore. It's there. It's real. It is happening. People are cutting these things off of cars. That is the worst thing to be doing. And unfortunately, different scrap yards and core buyers across the country aren't asking for driver's licenses. Well, rrcats.com does everything clean and proper. So you need to send your driver's license to be able to get paid and make sure that you are doing the right things. Now, the rhodium market has recovered after having that large 25% drop we talked about two weeks ago. While the market has climbed back over $26,000 per ounce, we've also seen palladium prices jumping over $2,600 per ounce, and the platinum prices are around $1,200. What do those numbers mean to people like yourselves that might not be you know, carrying ounces of platinum, palladium, or rhodium in their, po their pockets? Let's boil those together, make a nice soup, and let you know what it tastes like. It tastes tastes like the highest catalytic converter prices of all time. That mixture put together, dash in a little bit of steel or 430 stainless on top of it to coat those different metals, and you have a catalytic converter market that is going to help you make more money. Now, don't forget the team at rrcats.com wants to buy all of your catalytic converters, even though they might not always be the highest price. They are consistent, they are reliable, and they will always make sure that you get paid questions, rrcats.com has your catalytic converter answers. Now, scrappers, don't forget our YouTube channel is one of the most underutilized tools that we provide for nothing for scrappers. With so many videos on there, not only these weekly reports that you can always reference, but also how-to videos and guides on how you can make more money with your scrap, we implore you to follow our YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe to it so you can continue to get those videos pushed to you, and also, iPhone, Droid users, free push notifications, download the app, get updates, no brainer, help yourself make more money, especially with markets that are increasing week over week. If you compare to the last few years, we're in a very, very strong commodity market right now. Now, unfortunately, we have seen those gas prices jumping with a national average creeping around $2.91 per gallon for regular with many, market, uh, many markets 
predicting well over $3, more like $3.25 per gallon they're talking about once we reach Memorial Day, which is generally the busiest time, one of the busiest kickoffs because of summer. Then you throw in everyone getting vaccinated, so many people being cooped up in their homes, mix that all together in another pot, and you have high gas prices. Now, before you start to complain, because we already talked about that, people like to complain instead of enjoy what they have. Just think higher scrap prices means that you're gonna get more money for the scrap that you're producing, for the scrap that you're sorting, and overall you will make more money and it will offset those higher gas prices. Now, scrappers, don't forget every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. we love to do our weekly reports. Behind me, you can find at iscrapapp.com all of the national prices. If you're looking for coaching, we talked about this one just to start the podcast. If you want to make more money with your scrap and there's questions that your scrap yard just won't answer, that you can't find on the Facebook group, that you can't find through different online searches, become a Patreon supporter today. You'll be able to have one-on-one -on -one access with myself talking about your scrap problems and helping you make more money and learning what not to do with all the different scrap products that that you're trying to produce. Now, don't forget, we have a podcast coming out soon. We'll be announcing that in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you sign up below. You'll be able to enter your email. You'll be able to get notified when those podcasts are coming out. And through our Scrap Podcast, we're going to be talking to scrapyard owners, scrappers. We're going to talk to industry experts. We're going to have general stories about the industry, and we're really excited to bring that to you in the coming weeks. Scrappers, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, we like to go live, and we love to have you join. If you can't, watch it later, comment, like it. Give us your questions. Let us help you make more money with your scrap. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. We appreciate you tuning in. We look forward to talking to you next week. And as always, I'll scrap you.